What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Regulation D video. So I've been making these moveset guides, and a lot of you guys in the last one really wanted me to tackle Enamorous, which is the brand new genie introduced in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And you know what? I'm, I'm totally into using an Enamorous team. I've been actually building with it for uh, a couple of days now, and I think it's actually probably one of the best Pokemon in the game. It's like really, really good, but... Yeah, we'll get into that. This is going to be a quicker one because I'm recording this right before work. So yeah, uh, let's just get into it. If you guys enjoyed this thing, plan time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And let me know what your favorite new Pokemon in Regulation D is in the comment section down below and what Pokemon I should tackle next. So Enamorous is a flying and fairy type. It's got that Togekiss typing that is just notoriously good in the UGC. Uh, it's going to give you that ground immunity. Uh, you are only really weak to a rock, steel, and poison, and electric and ice. And while those do sound like really, really bad weaknesses to have, honestly, on the offensive side, it's like absurd just how well you hit things. It, it has the Togekiss coverage too, which is what makes it viable. So it's a good Pokemon, needless to say. Uh, there are a couple of good Terras for it. We'll, we'll briefly discuss like the different Terras you can use. Um, but I think for the most part, Enamorous really wants Steel because defensively it tackles a lot of those weaknesses. And if your opponent wants to hit you with a ground move, they have to sort of make that call of will they tear or will they not. So yeah, uh, it also has a Therian form that gains access to the ability Overcoat. Uh, and it is really bulky and pretty slow. So it's like a phenomenal Trick Room Pokemon with built-in safety goggles. So that is very nice. Uh, we'll cover two sets with that. But I think that uh, the more viable set for now is going to be the Incarnate Form that has access to two abilities in Cute Charm and Contrary. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So obviously Contrary is going to be the better ability if you're not boosting any stats. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is the set that I've been running for a few days. What it's going to be able to do is it's actually, it's got um, optimized uh, HP EVs for leftovers recovery. It is divisible by... Uh, it is divisible by, you know, 16, so that will allow you to gain the max HP per turn. You know, there's no rounding down. Uh, and we are hitting a speed tier that is just above Garchomp. We're hitting that 170 speed tier. And yeah, uh, what this is going to be doing is it's going to be spamming superpower uh, in, you know, or with a uh, contrary. So instead of gaining uh, that, you know, drop every time, gaining that drop instead of getting that drop every time you go for it with minus one attack minus one defense this thing actually just becomes bulkier and bulkier and stronger and stronger which is why we also have that player off there as our main stab however like most of the time if you're going to be clicking a move it's going to be super power the one thing this thing doesn't really want to face is a non terra to Mungus, which can absolutely just nene on it uh, but you do have access to taunt which is going to allow you to stop that thing from rage powdering or sporing you and you can just focus down the partner uh, this thing just goes positive into like any team with Intimidate. You get an automatic plus one. Basically, it gets a choice band if you Intimidate it. It's kind of like King Gambit. Uh, but on top of that, it gets to spam a move that gives it boosts, which is so nice. So yeah, uh, that that is like one of the best sets right now, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to talk about some partners for it uh, down the road. But I do think that one of Enamorous' best partners is Ting Lu because of that Assault Vest it basically gains. No contrary does not reverse the effects of the Ruinous Pokemon uh, because they're not really a stat decrease or anything. They're actually just kind of like a field effect. So yeah, this one's quite good. I, I really enjoy it. I think it's good. I've used it on a team. Here's the team right there. That's the team I was using with it. Good Pokemon. Uh, yeah, uh, so I don't really have anything else to say about that. It's faster than Urshifu as well, so getting the play rough Urshifu is really nice. Uh, you know, you don't want to have to take a Surging Strikes, and if it has its Sash broken and you're at plus one, that's pretty much always going to KO. Next set that I have is a uh, just Leftover Spring Tide Storm Calm Mind Earth Power set. Honestly, what you could do with this one is you could also optimize the EVs. Uh, what I ended up doing is just putting enough EVs where, like, I don't know. It just, I just, I, I like Calm Mind boosting. But yeah, so with this set, you're going to go ahead and run uh, Leftovers and Cute Charm. And while I know what you're saying, why didn't I run Contrary? Calm Mind is right there. Don't be, don't be stupid, okay? Uh, if you Calm Mind with Contrary, you're going to lower your special defense and special attack. It is an active nerf for you. Uh, but once again, we're hitting that 170 speed tier and we have some pretty similar EVs, to be honest, right? 
Uh, but because we are combine boosting and not superpower boosting, I invested more into the defense than the special defense because, you know, the special defense will go up with everything. And this thing is a move called Springtide Storm, which is really powerful. It's 100 base power, has a 30% chance to lower the target's attack stat by, uh, or by one stage, uh, and it just hits both targets. It's, it's like, how do, what's like an example? Um, it's a stronger Dazzling Gleam to be honest, because Dazzling Gleam uh, is 80 base power. Yeah, and, and it hits both targets. So if it takes that 25% reduction, what is that? That's like a, a 60 base power move on both Pokemon, uh, where uh, the spread move reduction on this one makes it 75 base power, which is, you know, yeah, that's that's significantly better. Uh, and yeah, if you're combine boosting, you know, you're basically going to get like a choice specs on it after one, or after one boost. You also become bulkier and you're just able to spam this thing. Obviously, it's not the most accurate move, so you do have to be careful with it. Uh, but it is a very solid move set. Uh, that Earth Power is also going to allow you to hit Steel types that would normally resist your uh, uh, your Fairy attacks. Also, Fire types, you know, have just having Earth Power is just very useful. It's going to allow you to take on Heatran pretty effectively. This next set is actually Choice Specs, and for this one, I do run Contrary. I would actually recommend your last move be Grass Knot, and we'll go into that in a second. Um, but basically... The choice spec set is pretty much always just going to be like 252, 252. That's just to max out your damage. Like I said, after a Calm Mind, this is about the damage you're going to be doing just right off the bat. Uh, but let's actually skip to a partner real quick. You're actually going to be able to pair this with Thunderous, with Prankster, and Eerie Impulse. And this is a set that's been going around. is just like a, a Covert Cloak Thunderous, right? Eerie Impulse, Taunt, some kind of electric move some of them run like thunder wave plus uh wild bolt storm i personally prefer thunderbolt on this one because it just allows you to not miss uh and you kind of need to be able to hit the partners uh or you, you need to be able to hit the enemies that you need to with this set so i don't really like missing uh but yeah so what you're gonna be able to do is lead off with uh these two pokemon and you're gonna immediately prankster eerie impulse your enamorous to get it to minus two special attack just kidding contrary you're at plus two special attack with the choice specs and now your springtide storm absolutely annihilates everything uh it is very good i would sometimes you know maybe not use choice specs if you want to use the thunderous partner thing because what that'll do is you know allow you to have uh more flexibility in the move set in the moves that you're clicking but fairy is such a good offensive typing that honestly you can just spam uh, springtide storm like most of the time so yeah uh these are the sets as for a terror type for like these two I still think that Steel is very good for this one, uh, but you could also run like just Terra Fairy on this one if you want to absolutely annihilate things with Springtide Storm. I think I will record it this one soon. As for the Therian form, the Therian form, I think you have to build with a little bit more intent, um, and that's because it is quite slow. Uh, so it is a very good Trick Room Pokemon. For that reason, actually, I'm going to switch this one from a Modest Nature to a Quiet Nature because we do want that minimum speed. Good luck hunting for it. Uh, but yeah, so for this set, all I really did is I maxed out the HP. I hit the special attack bump at 196 or at uh, 198 and dumped the rest into the uh, defense stat uh, because we're just choice specs. It is once again the choice specs set. However, uh, you're going to have to click this one under Trick Room. You're not going to be able to partner with the Thunderous. You also don't have Contrary. It's just offensive. Defensively, you could run a couple of Terra types. I think that, honestly, for the choice spec set, Terra Fairy is fine because you want to go offensive. Uh, but I still think Terra Steel is like the best Terra type for this guy. It's just very solid. Um, Steel obviously being a great defensive type, but just the synergy it has with Fairy is absurd. The set that I want to talk about more is actually going to be this set right here, which is the uh, Leftovers Combine set. So, Anamorous has 74 HP. Or the Therian form, an Amherst Therian, has 74 HP and 110 defense. Uh, so, also it has really high special attack. So you actually don't have to invest into that special attack too much. Uh, and what that's going to allow you to do... Let me actually change this. Hold on. Because the... Or you can actually... Alright. Uh, no protect is an option. But you would also want to drop either Earth Power. Uh, you, you, you would also want to drop Earth Power um, if you want to run Grass Knot and Protect. But uh, what this set's going to allow you to do is you're actually going to be able to take a facade from non-Terra Normal uh, Flame Orb Ursa Luna. Because, you know, you're going to have to. Uh, and it's going to, even though you underspeed it, right? But what that's going to allow you to do uh, is go for a Calm Mind. 
And then on the next turn, you're going to be able to grass on it. And that will always KO after that first turn of flame orb damage. And that's really nice. Um, just living that is also just super nice. It'll allow you to go for two grass knots and KO it. Uh, and with that draining kiss, you're actually going to be recovering quite a bit of HP versus it. Because if you are at plus one, draining kiss is going to be doing like 29 to 35% on a Pokemon with 130 HP or base HP. And keep in mind that draining kiss, even though it's weak, it recovers 75% of the damage dealt instead of the 50% from like other recovery moves. So let's look at this. So if, if you do, let's say the minimum roll 30% to an Ursa Luna, what's 30% of 237? Let me just get out a calculator really quick. The 0.3 times 237 is going to be 71 HP times 0.75. That's 53 HP. Keep in mind that your base HP is 180. So you're recovering like a little under a third of your health every time you go for this training kiss into an Ursa Luna. It's a really good move. Like it's actually like a, an absurdly powerful move. Uh, especially if you end up going with like Terra Fairy, just to like boost that even more. You know, you're, you're going to be doing right here. That's yeah. You're going to be doing like 47%. So like half of Ursa Luna's HP becomes yours. You get 115 HP off of your 180. So yeah, or not, you know, 115 HP because yeah, that gets divided by uh, three fourths. But 115 times 0.75, what would that be? 86 HP. That's still a lot. That's a lot of HP. It, it's going to be annoying and recover health, uh, which is why I think that you could possibly drop Protect on this set. But yeah. Uh, Draining Kiss is going to be your main stab for recovery. Grass Knot is going to be for taking on opposing Ursa Luna, and Earth Power is just going to be your coverage move. This thing is just built like a truck. That is all. You could also technically optimize the uh, the HP a little bit more to get better recovery, but yeah. Uh, Thunderous, I already mentioned why it's like a really good partner, uh, but also you could run like Defiant Thunderous and have two Pokemon that don't want to be intimidated. Ting Lu, I think, is actually one of the best partners for the contrary set because of that uh, basically an Assault Vest that you get with the Vessel of Ruin. Uh, that's also going to allow you to just, you know, sponge hits really well and have a, a Pokemon that can just spam Earthquake next to you. Not Earth Power. Uh, Earthquake next to you, as well as some useful moves like Ruination. Uh, you can also have access to, like, Heavy Slam to, uh, to deal with opposing uh, Enamorous. Um, and it's just going to be, like, a very powerful Pokemon. I think it's probably the best partner, if I'm being real. I don't think a lot of people have explored it, though. Uh, and I think that... Ursa Luna. On these uh, an Amorous Therian sets, Ursa Luna is a very solid partner because of the ability to spam Earthquake next to it, while also having an Amorous hit things with like Specs, uh, Spec Springtide Storm, and then you just follow it up with like an Earthquake with like plus one because of Guts or even just Facades. Uh, basically, I think that like Ursa Luna plus an Amorous Hyper Offense under Trick Room is actually going to be like a really viable thing. So yeah. That's my thoughts on Anamorous. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Sorry if it was a little bit less organized in the last video. I am very tired and I just got up for work and I'm like going to have to leave my house in about 20 minutes here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.